just fancied making a bit of a van video today and uh, I came to my old nostalgic spot that I like to come to which I haven't been to in a minute so we're just uh, kind of letting everything come flooding back I was just looking back there thinking such a nice place to bring the van and just come and chill and uh, never hear any cars that's a rarity actually but it is grey, it is cold and so I didn't expect to see anybody but it's nice to see people out getting a bit of fresh air, people walking their dogs, all that good stuff. But I'm going to get into this video which is going to be about just bringing you up to date on a few things that aren't looking their best on the van. All right, guys, uh, we are in the back of the van and I'm excited to share some van content with you that was totally unplanned, but that's what makes a good video, hey? So anyway, um, what is it about? I wanted to just give you a bit of a glimpse of the uh, condition of the interior of this van now. Uh, it's been about three years since I fitted out the back of this van. I'm going to briefly talk about how it's worked out and also what's coming with this interior. Let's get the intro out of the way and I will dive into what's happening. All right, so after three years, there's been some questions on how I'm getting on with this interior. Uh, there's been some questions on, uh, am I make, doing any more mods to the van? What's next on the van, Steve? That comes up a lot. And uh, there's also been some thinking going on. So with the video that's gonna come out on Tuesday, all will be revealed as to the big things that have been going on at the house, which, which if you go and watch that video when it comes out, you'll really grasp why not much has happened on the van. So Tuesday about six o'clock, that vlog comes out and um, that will be where I'd finally drop exactly what's going on back at the, the house and the mod shop and all that good stuff. But um, I can reveal that uh, Something that I've been thinking about redoing for quite a while is the dream cupboard. really did work out quite well actually but I feel like I can step it up now because there are some things that after using the van for two or three years that I would do differently and there are things I don't know how I'm going to do yet but I'll be all ears if you've got any suggestions once you've heard this video you can drop some stuff in the comments as uh, it's it's all good to share um, so when I built this cupboard, I built it from um, MDF wood. Uh, built it in the lockdown, actually, because I remember I had a bit of spare time and I built this cupboard in the lockdown. I used some MDF, I used four-way stretch carpet and I used a vinyl, which I had. Um, regretfully, the vinyl hasn't worked out that well because a couple of different adhesives I've tried to use on it haven't fared well when it's come to the cold weather. And um, this is how it looks as I'm talking to you. So it really is looking a little bit sorry for itself right now because um, it's really come away and sort of shrunk and shriveled. And I have actually once or twice put something back on there to push it back into place to bide some time and that. But it's just made me realize that I don't think that's the right material for version 2.0. At the time, I thought it was good because um, 
when you are uh, with the coffee machine and the milk, the steam, the moisture, all that kind of stuff, you know, vinyl, it's going to be a lot better than if I was to have wrapped the carpet into there. And I'd probably say that was still a good move, even though it's all kind of come unstuck. Um, but moving forward, so I can see that that's not going to be the best stuff to use. I'm thinking that maybe it should be something like an Alcantara next time or something like that, because in all fairness, it doesn't actually get that messy. So I'm not so worried about the steam and coffee and that kind of stuff, because it doesn't actually get on it anyway. Um, but um, yeah, maybe I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are with what you would use to wrap um, this cupboard when I redo it. I will be changing a few things such as the position of the coffee machine. So right now with this cupboard, I had made it so that when you are in the van, you can access it better from inside than outside. Uh, as it is at the moment, if it was a nice day, you've got to physically get right in and tuck yourself round, round to the side here to use it. That was a bit of a mistake because there's come many a times where it's super hot, the family's in here doing stuff in the way, so I have to wait for them to move so as I can get there to it. But um, it'd be quite nice to be able to stand under the tailgate and, and access the machine as well as from in here when it's pouring the rain and you've got it all closed up. Um, so the new version is probably going to maybe have some kind of drawer or some kind of pull out or some kind of timbre. I don't know yet, but it's definitely going to be something that works from both sides of the van. Um, I do like the fact that you can sort of put it away because it's a bit rattly. And um, even though I made it a very, very tight fit when we first did it, over time, there's been a bit of movement in within the sort of um, the locking position of the coffee machine. And yeah, it's kind of squeaks and rattles now, which annoys me. Foam would probably be the best thing where they do that um, cut in of the foam. But, you know, I, that's probably, I don't know where I would get that done. And that's unlikely. But... Um, if it, was, if it was being done by professionals, no doubt that there was some sort of drawer and then foam and then they cut it with the iron or whatever where they burn the, the shape out and it fits perfectly. Um, but I don't think I've got access to that. So um, the other thing is that with that, I would want to get the whole interior um, refinished and uh, some proper cushions made finally because I, I i did actually go to a couple of places and in, intended to get them done both those places weren't interested which actually was a bit sort of demotivating and i lost interest a little bit hence why this never got done um, they only really wanted to work on the vintage stuff and uh, so um I gave up on that, which I probably shouldn't have done, but I did. But yeah, this time, I sh once I've done everything, I should actually get that done. And the other thing I'm keen to do is I'm going to do a bit of work on the ceiling. Um, I really fancy a nice halo. So you've got to have like the halo around the outside and then um, maybe an Alcantara on the middle or something. Um, yeah, something like that. So it'll give this interior a fresh new feel and some clever lighting again and all that kind of stuff. That's something that I plan as my next modification. But as I say, when you watch the video that comes out Tuesday, you might gauge as to the timeline on that. And, um, and then the last thing is I wanted to get the bed made. I've talked about it in old videos. I never did it. It was all geared up around the thought of how I would do it. And I had an idea in my head, but did I make up that little frame? No, I didn't. Um, that's partially because there's only one time I've needed to sleep in this van by myself. Um, because I was going to make this bed to suit up to two people because if we go as a family we'll put the tent on the side and we all sleep in there. So I never got round to it um, but I did have an eventful night where I stayed in the van at Tatton Park and I kind of had to just sort of suspend it was a joke and uh, it wasn't the most comfortable night's sleep so if i'm going to tatton park this year i would hope to be able to sleep in a bed so um that's another thing that's on the on the plan for it when when i've built the new version of the cupboard um the bed comes next then send it off to have the interior done 
Um, and that is what I'm now looking to do on the van as one of the, the next upcoming mods. Being such a time consuming mod, um, I will probably film it in sections because it will just give you more content as I go along. And um, that way I can then just at the end of it, just put some sort of montage of the whole process together and make a final video from start where you sort of take it from start to finish. So um, be really interested to uh, hear or any ideas you might have in terms of the best materials in order to cover ceilings um, and um, uh, I'm because th as I said before I'm thinking Alcantara and some four-way stretch but if you have any better ideas I'd uh, be all ears in the comments all right guys take care and I will see you real soon in the next one um, I just saw a horse go by <laughs> yep yeah, you see it all up here um, lovely spot and uh, yeah, I can't wait for the hot and sunny weather to come back and we're going to be back up here with the drone and I get some more cinematic videos knocked out this year. Can't wait. Anyway, see you real soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and like and share the videos. It really helps the channel grow. I'll see you soon. Take care.